y'all. I'm back. I'm sorry I didn't pick the camera right back up when we got home from Walmart, but you know how it is. Bring your groceries home, put them up, then I had to cook. And then after I cooked, I had to come in here and finish working on that DIY with the crushed glass. So I finally decided how I wanted to line up my trays. And for the DIY, you want to use four poster boards. You want to glue two poster boards together for support from the weight of the trays. So that's why you'll need four poster boards. Um, um, a box cutter is what I use to trim the excess um, trim from the poster boards around the trays. And then I use the Gorilla Construction Adhesive Glue. I'll show it to you. But I finally got them set up glued down um the excess poster board cut from around it so i'm gonna let y'all see what it looks like all right guys so here we go this is the finished product i wanted something different and odd so i lined my trays up like this that's the first one and then this is my second one so they are ready to go up on my wall, but I'm going to let them dry overnight and then I'll put them up tomorrow. All right, y'all. So I finally, finally got the wall decor up. My DIY Dollar Tree trays with crushed glass in them. Don't mind the lines that came from the previous um, wall decor my husband hit up. So I got to get a magic eraser and get those off and touch up the paint. But other than that, I think they turned out great. And here's the second one. Like I said, I got to touch up the paint and get the magic eraser and get those lines off. But I think they look absolutely stunning. All right, y'all. See what we're working with. I just fixed two little chicken breasts because I know somebody might want a piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now yeah, let's see what these baby back ribs look like now. They've been out here for over an hour now. Just to cook them in. I don't know. These are ready. They're looking good. Hey fam, I'm back. Cooked all that food. And we ate. And then we came outside. And I played catch with Michaela. And now she's playing catch with Marquis. Burn some of that food off. It's getting some fresh air. Where you going, Missy? Keep playing with me. My kid is ready to get hurt, y'all. She keep acting crazy. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to a drive-thru to get something sweet before it gets late. Or whether I just want to go in here and bake something. Marquita, mm -hmm. you want me to bake something? Do it involve cookies? I know it does not involve cookies. I have a recipe, baked apples. My browner used to make it. I used to call my grandma my browner. You don't want to try it? Do I eat apple pie? I don't remember when browner no. used to fix apple pie. You didn't eat it? No. You didn't like it? No. Mm. So I'll bake me cookies and make y'all little, whatever y'all like to call it. Lord, 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 I'm about to lose my mind. Some days are better than others. And today wasn't a real bad day, but I need freedom. I'll be so glad when this thing lets up. Oh my gosh, I'll be so glad when it lets up, y'all. And things get better. And somewhat start to get back to normal. But I feel like 
that's going to be months from now because I'm just about to lose it. Maybe I just need to go in the house and take me a nap. But if I go lay down now, then I'm going to wake up. What time is it, Pooh? It's 8 o'clock. 8.01, to be exact. 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, ain't no big deal. The next day. Hey everybody sorry I didn't pick up the camera anymore last night but I was over it y'all saw that made a quick one to Starbucks so I could get the kids a drink and I got me a small drink cuz I had a taste for something sweet so and I barely made it cuz it's quarter to six now and they close at six o'clock so I think I'm gonna get this drink go chill on my back porch and enjoy this weather it is 80 something degrees here in va today and i am loving it it wasn't bad yesterday but it was a chill in the air cool enough for you to put on some jackets i hope y'all are having a nice sunday just relaxing that's pretty much all we can do during these times i'll be back All right, fam, I am back. I'm out here living my best life. Sitting in my backyard, sipping on my what? Vanilla bean frap from Starbucks. It is so good. Enjoying this nice warm weather. I'm sitting out here being nosy watching folks. So comment down below. What are y'all doing today? What are some things you are doing to keep yourself busy during this quarantine so you won't get frustrated like I was yesterday? I've been doing little DIYs. Y'all seen the big one I did. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't talk. Uh, sipping on my drink. I got another DIY that I'm going to be working on this week. So, I'm going to make sure I film more in detail with that one. Because with this last one, I didn't do that. I told y'all I had got it from LG Queen Decor channel. So... If you want to see in detail on how to do it you can head on over to her channel and check it out I was doing my hair this morning y'all and well I didn't realize it just this morning but just doing my hair today and I got some grays rolling on in grays rolling on in now, I've always kind of had like a patch of gray hair, even in my teens, in the back of my head. So, I mean, it's always been there. Um, so, I've never really worried about that because it's been there forever. But, um, hair, gray hair is in the inner part of my hair you can't see. But then I noticed this. Y'all see this? This little streak I got right here. And I was like, Lord... It would be right here in the middle. Bam. Smack in the middle of my head, y'all. Mm. So, I was starting to, you know, get irritated about it and be like, okay, what are we going to do? You're going to put a rinse in your head, girl. Um, we're going to cover it up. What are we going to do? But then I was reading something online and I've seen all these celebrities recently posting about starting to age and the gray hairs and you know what i don't know if i'm gonna mess with it now y'all i don't know if i'm gonna um put a rinse in my hair or either use like a little hair cover up applicator and cover it up i thought to myself you know especially in this time with everything going on it's a blessing to wake up every day 
It's a blessing to wake up and see a new day and be healthy. It's a blessing to age. So, I think I might just suck it up and just be grateful that I'm here. I'm alive. I'm seeing each day. Living each day to the fullest and living here and just aging. And pray that I age gracefully and that the good Lord keeps me. So, I say that right now, y'all. Next week, it might be something different. And I've been, I went to the beauty supply store. And my girlfriend was telling me about the little applicators that look like mascara or something that you can buy from the beauty supply stores. And cover that bad boy right on up. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But on to other and more important things, I must give shout outs and my thank yous to everybody that's been supporting us. I'm so grateful to everybody that has been supporting us. And um, a big thank you also to all of our new subscribers. We really I have to give a special shout out to me, myself, and D.I. Wyatt's channel. She has been, Miss Tammy has been such a... A blessing to me um, she does videos on Sunday sometimes called roll call shout outs and what she does is just giving shout outs to other youtubers she's out here trying to help other youtubers grow and she has frequently placed the Harris party of five channel on her roll call shout out videos so i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to her also i want to say a big thank you um to petals corner or petals is blessed she is so sweet it seems like every video i post her and tammy always go over they make sure they watch the videos they always comment and I just really appreciate all the love and support. I also want to say thank you to the McDowell's. I love Tiana. She is so sweet as well. Um, always very supportive. Uh, we message each other and just stay in contact here and there. And so um, in this little bit of time that I've been doing YouTube now, I have met some really great nice people there are still some nice people out there that are willing to help other youtubers grow and that want to see other youtubers grow as well um it's room for all of us to do this so i just want to say thank you again i really appreciate it